What's going on guys? I uh, started earlier working on building a grow out hutch, but uh, won't be needing that as soon as I expected to. And my daughter went up to my mom's to hang out for a little bit, so she quit helping me work on it. And I kind of lost my motivation on it. So uh, trying to get my mind off of my losses with our rabbits. If you watch that other video, you'll know what I'm talking about. But uh, spent a little bit of time back here in the chicken coop. The chicken coop can always use some work and some time to give to it. And uh, it's been really muddy. We've had so much rain. And we're at the bottom of the hill here. So it all kind of funnels this way anyway. Especially right here in this middle. There's like a little spring where water just springs up right here. And uh, I didn't know that until we got our chickens in here and started working it. So you just kind of have to adapt and overcome. But uh, unfortunately, my shed over there, which will be for the sheep eventually once we get our pasture up. Uh, I had my hay in there for the rabbits. And as you can see, a lot of it's really, really just wet. You can see some of this here is dry. And where it turns that dark green, that bale just got completely soaked. The, uh, the cap of the roof on the shed is failing and just water is pouring down through the middle. So I uh, lost a few bales of hay. But I'm going to put it to use in here and spread it out until I can get my truck fixed. Uh, this spring I plan on getting uh, my dump truck fixed and I'll be hauling in a uh, massive amount of wood chips to really spread in here and build some garden beds. So what I've worked on is obviously hay around this area, especially focused right here where they spend a lot of their time. And then starting up here you can see this spot i didn't dig this at all i just kind of took the shovel and scraped it all the slop out of it and you can see where the water already started digging a little channel so i just helped it on down the hill here and i'm working on building a little small hand dug pond and as you can see there's a lot of clay in here so once i get this really worked out i think it'll actually hold some water and Mainly just to try to funnel it away from this area and we'll build this area up, let this area stay low. Um, and we'll just kind of work it across the front here. What I'll probably do is dig it out big enough to where there's still a nice walkway there. Um, I don't want to go much closer than this right here where I'm already at towards the coop. But we'll let it have a nice big circle here. Then I'll probably eventually, I'll dig a little overflow across the front here. And if I decide that it needs more, I might just dig out a little bit more coming this way. And I can always put a little wood plank down to where I can kind of step over a bigger overflow channel. And that'll just send a lot of the water down and out of the coop. And once the rabbit hutches are there, the water can just kind of run right in between them or underneath and uh, cross the driveway into the creek. So. That's what we're working on today. The chickens are loving all the hay. They're exploring their, the makeshift of a little pond that is in the beginning. And uh, hopefully that'll just give them something to get their feet up on and start to get their bottoms a little bit cleaner where I don't have to wash, wash their eggs. So yeah, that's what we're working on. Piled up a little bit of this compost and uh, it's, completely wet soaked um, this is actually going to be becoming an actual little greenhouse and um, in the very near future I'm going to be buying a little greenhouse frame that is 10 by 20 that'll fit really nice out here and I'm going to cut a hole in the fence right here and this is going to be my new composting area I decided I wanted something more that I could actually get a wheelbarrow up into easier. And if I could, the absolute best way to make it more efficient and easier is if I get my tractor to it. And it's really nice having this in the coop 
it's all right in here and I can obviously get a wheelbarrow in through my side door but the easier you can make to work the better uh, we have no place around here where we can actually make a garden so if we have a garden it'll be on down the driveway there a bit farther and one plan for the future is over here on this hill after I have some livestock on it and they get it really cleaned up so I wanted a way to where once I'm finishing out some compost I can get my tractor straight up to it load up the bucket and drive it across the land to wherever I want to put it so this is going to work out great uh, it'll be on the ex external side of the chicken run so the tractor and everything can get up to it really nice and I think it'll fill this space well so that is the plan for that this will be finished out and I will actually just use it as a little greenhouse starting and growing plants that I will incorporate around the chicken yard so hopefully within the next few years of growing this channel and growing our homestead this will become a lush area of growth and food for our chickens so thanks for hanging out with me uh, if you'd like to support our channel hit that like button and subscribe we'd appreciate it very much and we will see you in the next one